Thanks to seamless cloning methods, researchers can perform sequence-independent cloning without undesired nucleotides or scar sequences between vector and insert. The infusion cloning method is the most elegant and simple among them. How so? Let's find out. Every cloning protocol starts with amplification of your sequence of interest. Each technique uses primers with sequences homologous to your insert and linearized vector. Most kits require 25 overlapping nucleotides, but infusion cloning only needs 15, allowing you to order shorter primers. Next, amplified insert and vector are combined with a master mix. The infusion enzyme mix creates compatible ends by chewing back nucleotides from the three prime ends of the linear DNA, whereas other techniques use a five prime exonuclease. Additionally, the infusion cloning reaction only takes 15 minutes, while other techniques can take up to an hour. Other methods use a cocktail of exonuclease, polymerase, and ligase to then fill in remaining gaps between the insert and vector, which can introduce sequence errors at the cloning junction and increase the chances of getting empty vectors. By comparison, infusion cloning is clean and simple, avoiding both ligase and polymerase. After incubation with infusion enzyme mix, fragments are annealed in vitro, then transformed into our high-efficiency stellar competition cells. Only then are the vector and insert covalently bound together. Let the beautiful simplicity of infusion cloning help you in your research. That's good science.